The Tangue Laboratory is interested in identifying the chemicals in the environment that might perturb human or environmental health. We use the zebrafish for all of our research questions, and there's a lot of reasons why the zebrafish is an ideal model. First of all, it's, it's a vertebrate like humans, so they share a lot of similar genes and gene functions are conserved across species. That's been known now with comparative genomics. But now we can also demonstrate that chemicals that are known to produce harm to humans do, do the same thing in zebrafish. In the past, to test if a chemical is safe or not, it has always been internal. It's always been the burden of a company. High throughput screening in our model is actually looking for chemicals in an automated way, a robust and systematic way to say if this chemical is a bad actor or a good actor and checking the bioactivity. And right now we're well known in the field for being able to help prioritize chemicals into either of those bins. But that's just the start. We need to know how it's bad or why it's bad or why it's not causing an effect. And so we've been working with industry partners and whatnot, and they're beginning to understand that the value isn't that the fact it's a fish, but it's really the changes that we see in there that's gonna be explainable and also interpretable in some way. Part of the challenges with high content and high throughput screens is that the data is very difficult to interpret. Many of the individuals that are involved in trying to develop safer compounds are scientists, but also non-scientists. They can include biologists, chemists, toxicologists, bioinformaticians, and uh, other professionals that are not necessarily within the scientific community. So what we have done is taken these high complexity data sets for zebrafish and for our own high content screens and combined them into a single platform and then made the data accessible in ways that scientists can take their own compounds, run through the same models and compare that to a large library from known toxins, on market therapeutics and withdrawn drugs. There are many stakeholders that, that really need information regarding the chemical activity in complex biology. So the zebrafish represents early embryonic development, the most complex period of an organism life stage. The scale that the Tangway Lab does things is, is unmatched, certainly in any sort of organismal research. So they do things that such a grand scale and it's so repeatable and reproducible. For a person like me who brings their bioinformatics and statistics toolbox, it's like a, a playground almost. You can roll out new methods, uh, you can compare them to traditional methods, you can have revisions in your methods, and there's a reproducibility loop, again, where you can test something and then actually ask, did that work going forward? And, and that, that predictive loop, I think, is really powerful. Within this lab, Dr. Tangway really fosters a sense of integrity and independence in the researchers, but together we all act as a team. So each person wants to see each other person succeed. So I think the students and postdocs who leave this lab leave as well-rounded scientists, leave with an understanding of the impacts of our work. Dr. Tangway, as a mentor, uh, encourages us to think about the impacts of our research think about how we personally and as a team can advance the field of predictive toxicology. I, I think the zebrafish uh, model and the data generated from it will play an increasingly important role in, in kind of 21st and 22nd century toxicology. Uh, we're moving away from uh, trying to think about chemicals, uh, one chemical at a time, but instead to be able to um, understand enough about the chemistry and enough about the biology to begin to predict what a chemical might do to biology. Data streams that we're getting in zebrafish, multi-omics analysis, for example, and, and high throughput uh, concentration response modeling, uh, I think we're gonna get closer to doing predictive uh, bioactivity and predictive toxicology. And there'll be other models that'll contribute to, to reach that goal, but I think the intrinsic values of the zebrafish because of the complexity of the, of the genetics and the biology and interaction between cells it's gonna help ground truth some of these other methodologies. So I think the whole field will, I think will realize that goal and will be able to make, you know, high performing products that are, that are safe. So that's an exciting area that I hope we continue to contribute.